you're watching Fox 17 News. Welcome back. Governor Gretchen Whitmer signing a bill today that would stop convicted domestic violence abusers from owning guns. Our Yasmin Ludi explains how these bills aim to protect survivors. Governor Gretchen Whitmer was at the YWCA today signing legislation that has been years in the making. Now, community leaders that spoke up say that this will hold abusers accountable and allow victims to live their lives in the most authentic way. Governor Gretchen Whitmer signing Senate bills 471 and 472 and House bills 4945 and 4946 into law. This has been um, a long, hard journey and you have to bear your soul over and over again to get the change that you want but it is worth it. People convicted of domestic violence won't be able to buy, own, or transport firearms for eight years after completing their sentence. We know that nearly one million American women have been shot or shot at by their partner, and 4.5 million have been threatened by their partner with a gun. We know that women are five times more likely to be murdered when their abuser has a gun. Whitmer says these bills are additions to the universal background checks, safe storage and red flag laws already in place. These bills are based on a simple idea. If you have been found guilty in court for violently assaulting your partner, you should not be able to access a deadly weapon that you could use to further threaten, harm, or kill them. While today felt like a victory, it's a bittersweet moment for others. This law, now passed and signed into law today, will save someone's life and give them the chance to live a full, meaningful life, the chance Maggie did not get. Rick and Martha O'Million remembering the moment they lost their daughter, Maggie, to an ex-boyfriend turned stalker. Purchasing that shotgun was his final threat of power and control to our beautiful daughter. He believed that accessible firearm was his power over her. Maggie's parents say the passing of these bills are a start, but not the end of the work that needs to be done. When Maggie broke up with them, that was the most dangerous time. We had no idea. We thought it was all handled and, and that things were going to get better, but it was the most dangerous time for her and people need to understand that. For those in abusive relationships, Martha says to reach out and try to get them help as soon as possible. No mom needs to go to bed at night and feel like I feel. I mean, every single night. Whitmer says by signing these bills, Michigan is taking another step toward a brighter future. Reporting in downtown Kalamazoo, I'm Yasmi Ludi, Fox 17 News.